vibration plates. I never gave this a first thought. I never gave it a second thought. If somebody were to even detail to me what it was and the benefits that there were, I would put it in the category of the 1920s belt massagers, which were ultra gimmicky. To me, it's a gimmick. Really, I'm going to stand on a vibration plate and get all sorts of benefits, including weight loss. As I think about this, I think about how there are so many opportunities for like Joan Rivers jokes with this. Like, vibrator and weight loss, something like women would never leave the house, the weight loss industry would completely fold. I mean, <laughs> again, sounds way too good to be true. And on the topic of vibrators, it's now making sense to me how this can really improve circulation and blood flow, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I never thought anything about vibration plates. I just, that seemed like a, just, just a very gimmicky thing to me. And I want to share with you how I actually ended up trying a vibration plate, have been pleasantly surprised and like actually skeptical and almost like, am I crazy about how effective this is and how beneficial it is? So I'm going to share with you that. And then I'm going to share with you the benefits that ChatGPT helped me round up and things you want to consider before you actually pull the trigger like I did on a vibration plate. So we're gonna get through all of that and I want you to know everything we're covering has a purpose, it's to bring value, so stay with me. If you're like me, you may watch a YouTube video as you're scrolling others. This is probably the video to see it through. You may just like wanna fold laundry as you listen to my angelic voice or go on a walk, whatever. We're just gonna hang out right now. I'm gonna share with you what you need to know. And recently I reached the 10,000 subscriber milestone, which nobody is more surprised than me. And I share that with you because I'm going to bet every one of us has had a thing that like we wanted to do, start a business, get your master's, whatever that thing is for you that haunts you when year after year, every New Year's, every birthday, you find yourself feeling regret and like disappointment in yourself that you, here's another year that's gone by that you haven't done that thing. Let me tell you, it does not have to be perfect. I, I don't know how good this content is, but like the fact that I'm moving towards something I've wanted to do for so long is so therapeutic, is so healing. Just to know you're going in that direction is a huge gift to yourself. So I share that with you that it took me a long time to get 10,000 subscribers and what it means to me is to relay to you, you will be surprised at just taking action, what a difference that makes. So anyways, I put together videos each, week's on, each week on the things that I legit love um, and some of them, like this topic, I get a little bit nervous to talk about because I'm like, am I overhyping this? Is there something that I'm not aware of? I mean, because surely people should know about this. This is what I would categorize under the new term I have, and I actually submitted it to Urban Dictionary. Yes, I did. And that term is called underground hero. That is the product or solution that's hiding in plain sight that if somebody were to like actually break it down for you, you know, create a rundown, if you will, somebody actually broke it down to you, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that is a hero product, okay? But it's underground, meaning it's like hiding in plain sight. Another example, body gua sha. People are all about the facial gua sha. You would be surprised with how effective gua sha is on cellulite, okay? I have a few videos on that. The point is not to plug <laughs> my other videos. The point is to tell you, there are underground heroes out there, really effective products that just have not gotten the presentation that they deserve. Long tangent, hopefully you're still with me. So a few weeks ago, I put together a video on the benefits of rebounding. I have gotten on and off of rebounding for a long time and I have dedicated myself now, like from forevermore, I'm gonna be doing rebounding, even with this vibration plate. But some of the comments on that video were, hey, Rachel, have you checked out vibration plates? Because a lot of the benefits you're touting for rebounding can be achieved by standing on a plate that vibrates, okay? I'm like, whatever, I'll give it a whirl. Did not have much expectation. My plan was really just, I've got a standing desk. I'm gonna stand on the standing desk, stand on the vibration plate. I'm gonna put my LED devices on. I mean, as much as I can maximize the use of different devices that have incremental benefit, do them at once while I'm, you know, working from home. Sounds good to me. Doesn't require much change in my life to implement this. So I order it, I get it, and I kind of leave the box sitting there. Like, mm, I, I just felt no pull. I wasn't excited. You know, some things you buy and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited it's here. I did not. I unpack it. I put it, I, I just started on the lowest setting. I did not open the manual. I did not read it. I just opened it up, turned it on. So I stand on it. 
And it's almost like, you know that feeling you get when you're in a cold shower where it's like, <gasps> just like adrenaline rush. It was like the vibration was so powerful, even on the lowest setting, mind you, so powerful. I was like, <gasps> and I just got this burst of energy. And it's the kind of energy, my best friend and I, we have talked about how we have this alter ego called Hillary, which is like, you know, back in the day, we got it from like Hillary Clinton, like, okay, H Hillary does a lot. Uh, I'm not trying to be political here. I'm just telling you, like, I'd be lying if I made up a different name. Maybe I should make up a different name. <laughs> um, who's another powerful woman? We had this alter ego, Hillary, where it's like, it's your alter ego. You know, you have the alter ego when you're, you're in the mode of getting shit done and nothing's going to get in your way. Hillary mode is what we called it, okay? No political affiliation, none of that. I'm sure someone's going to be ruffled, but we've been talking about this since we were, I swear, 12. Trisha? Trisha! <laughs> Trisha puts me in Hillary mode. Can you tell that I did the vibration plate before this? It puts me in Hillary mode where it's like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's a clean energy. It's like a, just ready to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get energy from rebounding. This is like a jolt. This is a different type of thing. Now I've been using the vibration plate daily with the exception of weekends, but I've been using it daily when I get in front of my standing desk. I just stand there as I'm getting my emails going, all that. Um, and it could not be easier. And that is it's one of the things where I realize sometimes we it's like we want things to be hard. This is too easy and it's really hard to believe. The biggest thing has been the you know, just jolt of energy I have. And again, it just feels like this, like I just like got in a cold shower. And I know there's so many benefits to cold showers. That is like my Achilles heel is being cold. I don't have it in me. Cold, hungry, not doing it. And since getting this vibration plate and getting the recommendations to check this out, I made friends with the gal Robin and she has a really high production channel called The Science of Self Care. I really find so much credibility with the small channels because it's like, these people have not been paid off yet. Can you tell I have not been paid off yet? You know, like, <laughs> can you tell? Um, maybe that day will come, you know? It'll be like, sucks for you guys. <laughs> but she has a really well done video on vibration plates that she goes into so much more detail. But I wanted to give her credit because she's somebody who carries a level of credibility, does not come across too reaching or too, too woo woo or, you know, she's very practical. I mean, you get that with like the science of self-care. But I learned it from her and I actually reached out to her and I'm like, can we be YouTube friends so that we can like kind of talk through this whole process, which is so cool. Um, super sharp girl. When I talked, I was like, are we going to talk about this whole vibration play? I don't, I don't know if I'm crazy. I cannot believe the energy I get. And she completely agreed. It like validated my experience. And throughout even, you know, I find myself thinking, am I crazy? And I feel like I'm taking this risk in a way, just like I felt like I was taking a risk in some other videos where I'm like, am I crazy to think that I actually really do get better results from walking than I do high intensity? Am I crazy to think that body gua sha actually can reduce cellulite? And the validation comes with the comments, okay? So if you have experience with a vibration plate and you may be someone like me, like I historically haven't been one to comment, but if you have experience with vibration plates, and like it's made a difference for you too, please comment below at the very least to validate the folks that think they may be crazy, like yours truly. Okay, so that's been my experience and I love so much, I find it's encouraging me to use my standing desk, which that is a challenge to be consistent with. But I get on this vibrating plate, get that jolt of energy and it's like, in only 10 minutes, I'm not, I'm not vibrating all day, okay? <laughs> there's like, there's no way I can't have adult humor in this one. But I have like clean energy, Hillary manic energy through the day, but like a good manic. Now let's go through the list of benefits that ChatGPT has shared with me. By the way, ChatGPT, it sounds so intimidating. I'm gonna link an app for you. Just download the link to the app. Next time you have a question that you want somebody to like formalize a thought on and round up research for you, enter in your question to this chat GPT app. It's free. It's just that easy. And I'm starting to do this for my videos too. The vibration plate generates rapid oscillations, 
causing your muscles to contract and relax reflexively. Here's how they work to support weight loss, because that's what I'm interested in. Muscle activation. The vibrations stimulate your muscles to contract and relax multiple times per second. Increase metabolism. Also, um, thank you, love that. The increased muscle activity can boost your metabolism. So it's the increased muscle activity just by your muscles having to respond to these vibrations that boosts your metabolism, leading to more calories burned even when you're at rest. Improved circulation. Vibration plates can enhance blood circulation which may help with nutrient delivery and waste removal in your body. <laughs> so, okay. Again, like this is more adult ranging here. I never thought about why a vibrator is so impactful. Okay, yeah, that vibrator. It's because it increases blood flow, okay? And for you women out there that are like, I don't, I've never used a vibrator, I've never needed one. Good for you, okay, good for you. Enhanced lymphatic drainage. Vibrations may stimulate the lymphatic system, aiding in the removal of toxins and waste products from the body. I think one of the trends of the year has been for people to learn about their lymphatic system and improve it. There's different ways you can do that. With um, There's like lymphatic massage, there's body brushing, uh, gua sha can help with the lymphatic drainage, jumping on a rebounder, and then also this vibration plate. Why should you care about improving your lymphatic drainage? Well, your lymphatic system is like the sewage system in your body without a pump. So your heart has a pump to circulate your blood, whereas the lymphatic system doesn't. So that is why you'll find if you're not moving for extended periods of time, you get bloated. Also, I've learned that certain food allergies can cause for you, you, you to bloat because of its impact on the lymphatic system. So there's a lot to it, okay? Um, but anyways, that is in itself I haven't noticed a correlation here, but I wonder if, you know, people have noticed, actually I do know this, people with lymphedema will use vibration plates to reduce their swelling. So in theory, if you're trying to de-bloat, you could stand on this vibration plate as one of your options. Improve flexibility and balance. This one I was like, really, how's that? Well, regular use can improve flexibility and balance, making it easier to engage in other forms of exercise. Still does not make sense to me how this would improve flexibility. Maybe blood flow has something to do with flexibility. I don't know. And then ChatGPT says it's important to note that while the vibration plates can provide some benefits, they're not a magic solution for weight loss. They should be used in conjunction with a balanced diet and regular exercise for optimal results. Always consult with a healthcare professional or fitness expert before starting any new exercise program, especially if you have underlying health conditions, which I know that's like such a generic disclaimer, but for real, there may be certain health conditions where maybe you don't want to use a vibration plate. I, I haven't even thought about that until just reading that now. Um, but for me, I had zero expectations of the vibration plate. I'm pleasantly surprised just like the jolt of energy I get. And not just the jolt, but like this the headspace it puts me in. It puts me in a motivated space. But some people, especially if you go on the Reddit rabbit hole, say that this actually helps them lose weight. And one of the themes I notice in the threads, whether it's comments on videos or comments in Reddit, is you got people who are like, this is a gimmick. I understand why they would think it's a gimmick. And then there's people that are like, actually, it really comes down to using it consistently. Just like any of these devices. And that is, you know, for somebody who loves trying devices, the hardest part of these devices that work are, you know, being consistent with them. So because this requires basically zero effort from me, just a matter of implementing it in my standing desk situation. I stand on it 10 minutes and then I'm done. I don't do any more than that. I'm sure I could cover much more about how you can maximize your use of the vibration plate. I'm doing the bare minimum right now. If at the very least this gets you to look into it further, happy that you at least know about it. All right, with that, thank you so much for watching. As with every video, I'm, I'm amazed that you would like make it to the end here and nobody is more surprised than me that I've been able to maintain this channel much more. 10,000 people have subscribed and hopefully I've given you more than one reason to return and hang out with me as I do post videos just about every Sunday. All right, thank you so much.